out of my face, buddy. I have got enough problems dealing with your big brother. Oh no! How's it going everybody? My name is Al and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing some more Crisis Remastered. So in the last episode we fought our way out of a giant snow globe infested with these things. And now we're back at our base, or I guess this ship here, and apparently our commanding officer wants to talk to us. As yeah, I imagine he'd have quite a few questions given the footage we sent back. <laughs> it's in there, mate. Oh. What? Where? In here? Oh, that was, that was the wrong button. There we go. I profit before he does something stupid. I'll catch you later. Strickland, if you can hear me, you've got to get everyone off this island. There's thousands of these things and they're waking up. It's an infestation. No man. You did a fine job out there, son. Thanks to your video feed, the Joint Chiefs have recommended a nuclear assault. Oh my. As soon as I get final confirmation from the White House, we'll reduce these bastards to dust. Admiral, we shouldn't rush into any decisions here. We need time to explore other alternatives. You want to second guess the President? The Joint Chiefs? I'm not sure you understand the gravity of the situation, Doctor. Just over a week ago, military intel sats detected abnormal heat signatures from that island. First, we suspected the Koreans were testing nukes. CIA and NSA got word. It gets better. Four what? days ago, NASA picked up a high-frequency signal emanating from the center of the mountain. The beacon is directed at a star somewhere in Galaxy M33. A star? Four million light years away. Oh. It could be a distress signal. A call for help. You said the samples you found were millions of years old. That's true. But this technology is so advanced, it can't be terrestrial. What if they were stranded here, and now they're calling for help? Whatever they are, wherever they're from, we need to act quickly. I have planes armed with nuclear missiles on standby. With respect, sir, there's no guarantee a missile will even breach their defensive perimeter. You want guarantees by a toaster. I'm not gonna sit around and hypothesize while the safety of our planet is at stake. This is ridiculous. Those things have drained every power source they've come into contact with. The whole mountain is one giant power sink. Look at the schematic. This energy source runs through the entire structure of the mountain. Look at the shape of it. Compare it to the creature we brought on board. My guess is this thing's biological, a living entity that feeds on power. We can't predict what will happen if we use nuclear weapons against it. You care to predict what will happen if we don't? I think there's another way. I just need more time. There is no I, more time. I honestly do not know who to side with in this argument. Oh. I want all non-critical personnel out of here right now. I'll be in the armory. Come find me when you're through with this castle. Alright, once again, I have no idea who to side with in this argument. Okay, I guess I'm non-critical as well, so yeah. Uh, where is the armory? Uh, Rosenthal, you- oh! Hey, Prophet, you're looking good! <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna need all the- I think we're gonna need all the nanosuit soldiers we can get, so yeah, you just- You just go ahead and get yourself fixed up. Take a seat, Lieutenant. We're anxious to retrieve the environmental data from your suit's recording unit. Uh, alright, sure thing. Hey, boss. Where you going? I'm gonna finish this. Um, I reckon nuking the entire island is about as final as it gets. What Admiral Morrison does is not my concern. This um, scratch the surface. Prophet, could you Prophet, wait? What? Could you at least wait for me to be done? I think three nano soldiers is better than two. Oh boy. For you, Doctor. I've identified a signal pattern used by these creatures when they recharge. I think it makes them susceptible to an energy overload. Is there any way to transmit one of their signals via the nanosuit? Shouldn't be a problem. Let me see what I can do. What if I need to alter the uh -oh. frequency remotely? Fairly straightforward. You can send signals from any computer with a wireless connection. That should leave you room to experiment. What exactly are you guys doing to me? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'd like to know. If is correct, you'll be a walking weapon to fight these things. Oh. Okay. That might actually come in handy. Go for it. <laughs> You shouldn't keep the Admiral waiting, Doctor. I can finish up here. Okay. Nomad, meet me up at the bridge as soon as you're ready. Uh, yeah, sure thing, Doc. Not many of those in my field. 
If I were ten years younger, I'd... Ah, there she is. Put her on the rack over there. Yep. What, what is that? A prototype tack cannon designed to be used in conjunction with the nano suit. We're still experimenting. It hasn't even been field tested. It fires a projectile Ooh. tactical nuke. Works like a grenade launcher, but with a lot more bang for your buck. Whatever will they think of next? I don't know, but I'm using it as soon as I can. <laughs> no. Well, I think we're done here, Lieutenant. I'll leave it to Dr. Rosenthal to fine-tune your transmitter. Thanks, Doc. No problem. You better get up to the bridge. The Admiral isn't known for his patience. Uh, right. Sure thing. Uh, there we go. Now I'm getting up. <laughs> oh. Major Barnes, this is Admiral Morris. Put that VTOL down immediately. Major... What is he doing? That's profit, oh, isn't it? Should I scramble an intercept? Let him go. Crazy bastard just signed his own death warrant. About time, Lieutenant. We're almost ready to launch. That major of yours just went AWOL. Raided the armory, took a VTOL, and headed back to the island. Profit's going back there? You have to delay the launch. He made his choice, Lieutenant. Admiral, I'm begging you to reconsider. It's too much of a risk. What if this is exactly what they want? What if we're playing into their hands? I don't have time for what ifs, Doctor. The Pentagon has authorized the use of nuclear force. I have my orders. Constitution Command, this is Marauder 1. We've got Hawk approaching critical range. Over. We're ready, sir. What if you're wrong, Admiral? Can you live with the consequences? Proceed with the launch. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> oh boy. I hope you're right about this. You, me, and the rest of the planet. Okay, incoming. Oh, there it goes. Ooh. Yikes. Dang, nukes are insane. I actually reset. Oh boy, that doesn't look good. Uh oh. Uh, hey, how fast can you throw this thing in reverse there, Admiral? Um. Uh, um. I think we just made it stronger. Sir, we've got multiple contacts in there. Eight, no, twelve. Oh shit! Oh boy. Um. Well, it was nice showing you. No. Oh, oh boy. Uh. So yeah. Uh. Hey, Doc. You around here? Where's that uh, tack cannon or whatever you mentioned? Shake it off, Nomad. This whole ship's going to hell in a handbasket. Those things are breaching our hull from every direction. Get out there and fight, soldier! We cannot lose this ship! Okay. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll do what I can. Oh boy, I don't- wait, wait, really? I don't- I don't have any guns. I don't have any guns. Okay, well, let's hope the armory's still in one piece. Oh boy! Mind if I take this? Thanks. There's a ghost rifle! Oh, okay, and a missile launcher. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, oh, there we go. Gimme. Gimme. There we go. Okay, let's blast these things. Ha! Where are they at? Oh, there you are. Oh, what the frick hit me there? Did I get killed by, like, that forklift blowing up or some shit? All right, well, let me just quickly rearm. Oh, boy. Stop shooting at me and let me grab my weaponry. Thank you very much. Urgh. Urgh. Okay. So far so good. Oh, maybe don't stand next to any vehicles in case they turn into bombs. Is there any more? Did we clear them? Oh, no, we did not clear them. Oh, boy. Okay, my objective is just to defend the flight deck, so I'm assuming I just have to... Oh, no, nope, never mind. There we go. Uh, where, where's the elevator? breach in the reactor core. Some of our engineers are trapped on the lower decks. Take a deck elevator down to the hangar bay. Uh, sure thing, Admiral. No man, I'm in the lab with Helena. Where are you? There's a breach in the hull. I'm heading down to the reactor room. We're gonna make a break for the flight deck. These bastards are everywhere. Give us a shout when you're topside. Roger, Psycho. Uh... No man, I've been working on the remote transceiver. I think we can manipulate the recharge mechanism via your nano suit. If you get in trouble, let me know. I'm always in trouble. 
Uh, oh, I am supposed to go down here? Okay. Yeah, I was thinking it didn't look like there was an exit. Oh, boy. Frickin' A. Oh. Tell me what I need to do. First, you need to disable the circuit breakers in the exchange room. That allows you to restart the reactor safely. Okay, where's the exchange room? I'm assuming it's down here. Oh boy, I don't like this. Oh no. Oh my goodness, this is creepy. <laughs> There's like no music and all you hear is just like me quietly wading through the water. Oh boy. <laughs> should be near the circuit breaker now. Radiation warning light will be flashing oh, next Oh, perfect. Week. There we go. Okay, that should do it. Great. Rod arms are now open. Head over to the reactor room and initiate the scram sequence. <laughs> the scram sequence. Was it named for, if this happens, get the heck out of here? <laughs> okay, I'm in the reactor room. What next? Hit the red button. Okay. Scram sequence initiated. Good work, Nomad. The control rod should bottom now. Okay. Okay, yeah, now they're being reinserted. A uh, couple seem to be staying up. Is that normal? <laughs> Damn it. The rods are jammed. Oh boy, that is not normal. Well, guess I gotta do. Oh boy. Oh crap. Well, there goes our reactor. Oh, and they're gonna suck all the power out of it. No. There are hostiles everywhere. I think they're draining power from the reactor. All right. Nomad, I think we can overload them with power from the core. Stay within range. I'm transmitting a signal through your suit. Okay. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. Don't sound so surprised. I told you this would work. I, I think you just ticked them off more than anything. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> okay. They're dead. Oh my god, oh, jeez. Okay, going in. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. Sure that suit can take it? Yes, sir. Oh boy. Come on, come on. Wash it down. Okay, got it. Whoa. Get out of there. Oi, oi, oi. Dang, this is one heck of a suit, though, because doesn't radiation take, like, a split-second flash to actually kill you? Like, yeah, like, uh, I think there was actually this one, uh, story. I'm going back in. There was this uh, one story of, like, uh, some scientist out who was testing some kind of thing with uh, radiation. Owie. Uh, um... Uh, he was like putting it in like a, a ball or something that would basically just reflect the radiation back in on the, on the core. And he used like, I think like a screwdriver to keep it propped open so that it wouldn't, you know, go critical or something. The screwdriver fell, it went critical, and then he got like doused with like thousands or some rads of radiation. And apparently he just said like, well, that's it. <laughs> it's like... Dang. <laughs> like, radiation is no friggin' joke, man. Er, there we go. Okay. okay. The reactor shut oh. down. Transferring power to secondary system. Great job. Okay, sweet. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I was gonna mention nice this before. Pushing those rods down, oh. boy. But I need you up on deck. We got another wave of hostiles inbound. Get up here. Okay, sure thing, Commander. Um, but yeah, I was going to mention this before we got attacked by the, you know, the army of aliens after they sucked up the energy equivalent of a tactical nuke. Uh, but I actually recently saw footage of a, uh, of like a nuclear bomb test. I saw it from, uh, oh boy, I saw it from Kyle Hill's channel. Check him out if you haven't, he's awesome. But uh, yeah, it's like black and white footage of a bus okay we're fine <laughs> of a bus Arr! that they were that they put in the testing site and it had like a uh, like a full paint job and everything uh, it was a little harder to notice because obviously it was in black and white but basically the nuke went off 
and then there was this giant heat wave that essentially just flash burned all the paint off the bus. And then it got hit by the blast wave. <laughs> like, jeez. <laughs> I'm working on a Rosenthal, but the ship is not exactly intuitively laid out. Morrison, I'm heading to the lab to pick up that tack cannon. Make it quick, Lieutenant. There we go. We need you out on deck. There's something up here. Something big. Okay. Got it. Uh, where... Shit, where was the lab now? Ah! Uh, okay, got him. Hello, beautiful. And let me see, do I want to exchange the shotgun or the gauss rifle? I have no idea what this tack cannon is like. I know it's a, they said it's a grenade launcher, mm, but I want to be versatile. You know, maybe I should make this decision a little faster because while I'm window shopping, they're up there getting absolutely slaughtered, most likely. Uh, okay, I'll just, uh, I'll, uh, I'll swap out the gauss rifle. Oh. Oh, no, there we go. We oh, it's got ship. infinite Hurry. ammo. Heck yeah. Oh. Open. Open. I guess I... Oh, I can't melee with it. Dang. That is a heavy gun. Okay. Wait, where did... Oh. Oh, cool. I didn't have to decide at all. It's a heavy weapon. Well, I'm okay with that. I get to keep my ghost rifle and get the tank cannon. Uh, bridge stairs down. No, do not want to go down. Admiral? 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 Admiral, like, I, I, I respect your tenacity and everything, but we are literally fighting giant alien robots. I think it's time to just, you know, run. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, that was brutal. Oh. You have to save these people. Get out on deck. <coughs> Go. Okay. Oh Still alive? Barely. The Admiral didn't make it. Where are you? I'm with Helena in a veto. The carrier's overrun. Everyone's either dead or jumped ship. Hold on, we're coming in to pick you up. Oh, okay. Oh my. Whoa, <laughs> shit. Well, let's hope this tank cannon does some damage. Oh, shit. No way I'm flying anywhere near that thing. You're going to have to kill it, no man. Oh, yeah, thanks. How did I know you were going to say that? <laughs> sure, oh, boy. All right. Well, let's see what this thing can do. Frickin' fire! Oh dear. Um, okay, no tar. Oh boy. Well, uh, oh jeez. Oh jeez. Uh, yeah, probably a smart idea to stay away there, Psycho. Uh, how the frick do I lock on with this thing? Uh, shit. Stay close to that thing. It oh seems my to be Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, he's gonna fire at me. Woo! Woo! It's following me! Ah. I'll stay underneath it. Maybe he can't hit me from there. Whoa. Watch him just like sit on me or something. Like, ow! Oh, well, oh, what the frick? Ah, it grabbed me! Ah, shit! Ah. Oh boy, okay, I didn't know it could do that. Run! Ah, no, it got me again. No, put me down. <laughs> oh boy, get away from me. All right, what do I have to lock onto this thing in order to fire it? It's not friggin' working. Yeah, my objective just says destroy the alien owl, destroy the alien exosuit. Who's shooting at me? Friggin' get out of my face, buddy. I have got enough problems dealing with your big brother. Oh, no! All right, Helena, I'm staying close to it. You can weaken it at any time now. Oh! Oh, jeez! Ah! Okay. 
Okay, well, I, I guess Helena just, I guess Helena already did weaken it. I just, I guess I just can't lock onto it with the tack cannon, which is bullshit. But, uh, being frozen did teach me some, though. At least I don't have to worry about getting immediately killed by that. I just gotta worry about getting frozen and then killed. Let me see, can this thing lock onto the ones that are flying around? Oh, yep, there you are. No, no it cannot. What is the point of this cannon? Am I doing something wrong? Duh, stop doing that. Ah, ah, shit. Oh boy. How do I kill this thing? Like I've only got so much ammunition because this freaking tack cannon doesn't do jack shit. Like, come on. What do you want from me? Like, tar no target luck. I'm uh, I'm fighting a target the size of a school bus. How can there not be a target lock? Dang it. <laughs> okay, well, the fact that there's a bunch of Gauss rifle ammo lying around makes me think I just gotta keep shooting it with a Gauss rifle. But if that's the case, then what the heck was the point of me grabbing that friggin' tack cannon? Aw, oh, dang it. Come on. What am I doing wrong here? Oh boy, again with this thing. Uh, shit. Stop that blues. Oh, jeez Louise. Okay, I almost went into the ocean. That would have, uh, that would have sucked. I have literally no idea what to do against this friggin' thing. Like, you'd think I would have be get, you'd think I'd be getting some kind of reaction from this thing by now. I've put literally, like, 80 ghost rifle bullets into it. Like, it kind of lights up every time I shoot it, but I'm not sure if that means its shield is taking it or I'm doing damage to it. Uh, shit, again? Oh no, I think I'm gonna die from this one. No! Oh, there I go. What the frick am I doing wrong? All right, you know what? I got, I'm looking up if I'm doing something wrong. Like, come on. <laughs> okay, yeah, the tack gun is required in Reckoning to destroy the Seth Warrior, as it's called. But it uh, so far it's not telling me how the frick to use it. As aiming assist is activated by holding the fire button for a short... You hold it. Really? Hold on, let me... Is that all I had to do? Nope, still nothing. Okay, maybe I am just too close to it. I'll, I'll head to the other side of the ship and fire at him. Nope, still nothing. Still nothing. Like, come on, I'm, I'm holding the button. Come on, work for me, would ya? Like, what the frick am I doing wrong with this thing? You have to shoot it on its left and right side, hover over one of them, and then a green bar will come up and it will be locked on, then shoot. So I just have to hit it from the side? All right, I'm on its side. Not seeing any bar, it turned to face me, dagnabbit. Come on, lock on already. Jeez Louise. When you go out and see the first big monster, you hammer it with your best guns you got, not the tack launcher. Eventually, the girl will say, I'm transmitting a signal through your suit. This should help. Okay, so yeah, I was doing it right. I literally just have to keep firing at it, but like, how long do I have to keep firing at it for? Oh, what the frick? Okay, okay, we finally got a freaking reaction. Oh boy. Holy crap. Okay, so. Yeah, hot tip. Use the minigun on that thing because apparently the Gauss rifle doesn't do shit. <laughs> oh my goodness, hello. I'm guessing you're the mothership. Well, get to finally use this darn thing. Oh my. Uh, what are you for? Boy. Yeah, you don't say. Take out those cannons. Okay. Oh boy. Nomad, knock out those turrets so we can get within range. I'm, I'm working on. Oh my goodness. Please, thank you. Okay. Load up. And I guess we can see if the Gauss rifle actually does something against this thing because, 
Holy crap, that was absolutely ridiculous. It actually reached the point where I was counting how many clips of Gauss Rifle ammo I was putting into that darn thing. I reached the freaking 40s, and it still wasn't going down. And keep in mind, that's not 40 bullets. That's 40 clips. <laughs> Bust out the minigun, take it out in friggin' two clips. Which, granted, yes, have 500 bullets each, but they're a little bit smaller than the Gauss Rifle bullets. <laughs> oh, Boy. I'm, I'm working on it, psycho. You see what I'm dealing with right now? Oh, wait, I got some. There we go. Gotta hit it there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, maybe I should just stick with the minigun here because <laughs> I don't think that ghost rifle is doing shit against this one either. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, one of them blew up. Okay. So yeah, again, use the freaking minigun. Oh, I'm about to die. Dag damn it. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, blow up. Okay, I think I blew up one of the turrets. Let's get that guy. Never mind, that turret's still alive. Dag damn it. There we go, that's it. All right, now I know what to look for. Give me a second, there we go. Okay, right side's done. Deal with the left. Left side's done. Oh boy. And... Boosh. There we go. Okay, no more turrets. Now can I use the tack cannon? Ah, oh, frick! <laughs> Get the frickin' stop the frick! frick. Ah, stop that! Hey, hey, hey. Oh dear, okay, now I just gotta kill these things. Which I know for a fact... Dag Nabbit! Come on! <laughs> well, now I know the next step is to deal with the small fries, which I know for a fact can get killed by the Gauss Rifle. Thankfully, if they just hold still for a split second and let me shoot them, thank you. Oh my goodness. Alright, so keep moving. Alright, what do I- There we go! Locking! Lock on and fire! Oh, there we go. Next one. Why isn't it locking? Lock on, please. Do I just have to keep firing at that one? I'm on the oh, boy, the one at a time, really? Oh, dear. All right. Oh, dang it. No. 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 Come on. There we go. Okay, now do the same thing to the other side, and hurry up with it there, Rosenthal! I'm not sure how much longer this is gonna last. Oh boy, oh boy, hold on, I might... Just give, give me a second here. <laughs> the, the battery in my camera says two minutes, so one sec. Okay, gonna have to go without the, the mic for a bit, but hopefully we can do this. Alright, you prick, take this! Use the tag Bam! Okay, there we go. Checkpoint reached. Do I get to blow up the main uh, bulk of the ship now? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's getting closer. Oh, fuck. Hang on. Uh, I don't think I want to be underneath that thing. Oh, man, it's gonna sink us. Take that fucking thing down. Okay. Uh, how? There's a hatch on the underside. Try to blast it open and see if you can fire a nuke in there. Oh, oh shit. I'm gonna friggin' die! Open the hatch on the I do- Helena, give me a second here! Urgh. There we go. Okay, cracked it open. Tack cannon. And... Fire! No! Shit, no! No! Come on! Oh good, it's safer when I cracked open the hatch. Alright. Tack cannon. Let's try this again! Okay, yes! Yes! Did that do it? Uh, yes, defeat alien ship completed! Oh boy! It's gonna hit the deck, no man! Come on! Alright, moving! Oh, jeez! Where's the VTOL? Oh shit! Where? Oh, okay, he's flying in! Get, get in here, psycho! Come on! <laughs> Slow down a bit! Thank you! <sighs> Oh, 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 no man, or Psycho, close the hatch and get us the heck out of here! Come on, Psycho, go, go, go! Oh, no!
Nelly. Oh dear, it's still coming. Uh, Psycho, can't this thing go any faster? Oh my goodness gravy. Oh my, okay, it went up. Jeez. supposed to be going this way! Woo! I think it's sucking us in! Uh, oh boy, hang on! Pull in. I'm working on it! Oh. Okay! That was a little close! Oh. oh boy, again with the explosions! Okay! Mm. Oh boy, is it gonna try and suck us in again? Okay, is that it? Any more of the light show? Is it dead now? Like 100% dead? Like, no more? There's a naval fleet en route from Japan. They'll be here within the hour. I'm setting coast to intercept. No, we know how to beat them now. We need to keep fighting. I'm picking up a transmission. What is it? You ain't gonna believe this, mate. It's Prophet. He's alive? And kick him by the sound of it. Looks like he's inside the sphere. Lock under his position. We're going back. Okay. Dang. <laughs> so is there another level after this, or is that or was that it? Because all the walkthroughs, that was it, I guess. Okay. Wow! <laughs> that was something! Jeez Louise! That is certainly a way to end a game! Holy crap! That was awesome! Like, Crisis, like, the original Crisis, I think, if I remember correctly, I was released in, like, 2007, something like that? And I'm assuming that the remaster didn't do much with, like, the gameplay and whatnot, so, yeah, this it still holds up really well. And I think part of the reason, I think part of the reason for that is, uh, with a lot of games nowadays, they tend to like, do have the whole, uh, play it your way thing. You know, where you can go in stealth or guns blazing usually, which normally means you have to go in stealth. Uh, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, you know, options are always good. But sometimes you want just a nice, like, focused experience and, while you could cloak in this to help you, like, maybe take out one or two guys stealthily, it always goes into, like, full-on gunfights. Which, yeah, it, it's clear the game was built for that, so yeah, it was a awesome experience. <laughs> but, we've beaten the game, and thus, this series must now come to a close. So, until next time, thank you guys for watching, if you liked the video, please be sure to hit that like button down below. My name is Al, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!